guys, welcome to my channel. Today I want to explain to you which kind of nationalities can come to Belarus and use free visa regime which was uh, created not so many years ago here in Belarus. Also, in the middle of this video I will tell you which kind of nationalities can come to Belarus by crossing the land border. So keep watching! Today, many nationalities who normally need a visa to visit Belarus have the option to do so using a simplified system. These trips are now possible since Belarus has changed regulations allowing visa-free travel. So, citizens of dozens of countries can take advantage of the 30-day visa-free travel to Belarus. To see the full list of countries, please check the link under this video. And within 30 days of their visa-free stay, foreign citizens are allowed to travel anywhere in Belarus. However, Minsk National Airport is the only one place they can enter or exit the country. Other international border crossing points within the country are not covered by the visa-free entrance regulations. The regulations for visa-free arrival and exit were changed last year. Foreign nations are now able to enter and exit Belarus by airports other than Minsk National Airport, including Brest, Vitebsk, Gomel, Grodna and Magilov Airport. Belarus visa-free travel rules for foreign visitors do not apply to tourists flying to Belarus from or to Russia. These flights are considered internal and are not subject to border control. Visa-free entry does not apply to foreigners coming to Belarus to work, do business or study if the period of activity exceeds 30 days. Foreign nationals who want to visit Belarus without a visa for 30 days must have the following documents. First of all, of course, a valid passport, financial means, at least two base amounts denominated in dollars or Belarusian rubles uh, for each day of stay, or 50 base amounts if the period of stay is 30 days. One base amount is about 32 Belarusian rubles, so 65 rubles per day or 1,600 rubles for one month. It's all what you need. Also, medical travel insurance valid across Belarus with a minimal medical coverage of 10,000 euro. The date the passport is stamped is the beginning of the 30-day visa-free period in Belarus. This will be considered as your first day of the visa-free stay if you arrive late at night and pass through the passport control before midnight. Foreign visitors who want to stay in Belarus for longer than 10 days must register with the police and provide the address where they would be staying. The administration of the establishments is in charge of registrating foreign guests who stay in a hotel, hostel, health resort or other type of collective accommodation with the police. It's also possible to register on the website portal.gov.by without having to visit a local police office. This service is free of charge and will be available for foreigners who arrived in Belarus through checkpoints on the Belarusian border. To find out the details, please guys check the link under the video. The President of Belarus are also decided to extend the visa-free rule for people of Lithuania, Poland and Latvia until 2023, so for them it's also allowed to cross the border via land checkpoints till the end of 2022. Here is another option. Citizens of a number of countries can visit the Grodna-Brest tourist zone visa-free for 15 days.
Foreign visitors can enter this zone through two regional airports and crossing points on the land border with Lithuania and Poland. This tourism and recreation zone includes popular attractions and biggest cities in the western part of the country. For more details, please again check the link under this video. And it's also important to add that the rules of entry as part of the 15-day visa-free program are different from the 30-day visa-free option. To be able to visit uh, the visa-free zone, a foreigner must present the following documents. Of course, a valid passport, travel medical insurance with a minimum coverage of 10,000 euro, the travel insurance must be valid in Belarus, migration card, and here is point, document allowing foreign nationals, individuals or groups of tourists to visit the tourism and uh, recreation zone Brest Grodna. It can be obtained while purchasing a tour from a certified tour operator that has the right to organize visa-free travels to Belarus. This means that a tourist needs to approach an official travel agency beforehand not later than 48 hours before the trip. Make a travel plan, pay for the chosen services, an individual plan or all-inclusive tour, and pick up the document that will be presented at a checkpoint. To learn more about the visa-free program and travel agencies, please again click the links under the video. Tourists can enter the visa-free zone in Belarus via 14 international border checkpoints. Please note, foreign visitors who enter the visa-free travel zone must register with the local police department within 5 days. As a rule, hotels and health resorts where tourists stay take care of that. And also important, self-employed businessmen who rent apartments for you, for foreigners, do that as well. There are no checkpoints at the border of the visa-free travel zone inside Belarus, just signboards. Visitors are forbidden to break the rules of stay as part of the 15-day visa-free travel program and go outside the visa-free zone. Otherwise, travelers will be punished in line with Belarusian laws, of course. It can be a warning, a fine, a deportation. Also note, uh, when visiting Belarus as part of an organized group, uh, tourists can go beyond the visa-free zone and visit other areas of Brest and Grodna region, but only if it is a part of the planned tour road. If you want to learn more about this topic, guys, please check all the links under the video. Guys, I hope you enjoyed to watch all this beautiful scenery of Belarus. If you like this video, if you like my work here on the channel, you can always support it uh, with the super thanks or by becoming a sponsor of the channel. All this you can do. Thank you so much and see you soon.